Hi, in this lesson, you will learn about variables. Our memory can help us remember the past, retain new skills, and plan for the future. For computers, memory plays much the same role. Computer memory can store pieces of information that need to be changed or updated as it runs a program, such as data or even colors you use in your P5.js sketches. One way that programmers are able to store information in a computer's memory is by using variables. While they use the same name, variables in algebra and variables in programming are different. In programming, a variable is a container for a value. You can think of a variable as a box. Each box has a unique label called the variable name. Each box contains a value. A computer allows you to store thousands of boxes with a variety of information. That way, we can access and change the variables as the program runs. This is the syntax for creating a variable in JavaScript. In JavaScript, to declare or create a variable, we use the keyword let, followed by the variable name, equal sign, and the value you wish to store in the variable. JavaScript assigns the value on the right of the equal sign to the variable on the left. The equal symbol is called the assignment operator. The above reads, x is assigned the value 30. The value 30 is now saved in memory, associated with the variable x. We can access it by calling the variable name. But what if we wanted to change the value stored in the variable? we need to reassign it. For example, this line of code, let x equal 30, creates a variable called x and assigns it the value 30. If I wanted to reassign the variable to have a value 40, I would write x equal sign 40. In doing this, 30 is removed and the value 40 is now contained in the variable x. Notice for reassignment, I do not include the let keyword. I only need the let keyword when I first create the variable. Let's see an example of where variables can be used in your P5.js sketches. Let's create variables for the red, green, and blue values to store the RGB colors for the background. To do this, let's create variables before the setup function. We write let red assignment operator, or equal symbol, 255, semicolon. We do the same for green and blue, except the variable for the green value will be assigned to the variable green and have the value 100. The variable for the blue value will be assigned to the variable blue and has a value of 175. Now we can use these variables in the background function instead of passing values, like this. The p5.js library also provides built-in variables, or system variables, that you can access in your program. For example, when you create a canvas, the p5 library creates two variables for you, called width and height. The value of width is the width you set for the canvas. The value of height is the height of the canvas. These variables are particularly useful for positioning shapes and figures in your sketch. For example, if I wanted to draw a circle that is 200 pixels wide at the center of my 500 by 400 pixel canvas, I need to center the circle to have an X value that is half the width of my canvas and a Y value equal to half the height of my canvas. Instead of writing in numerical values to the circle function, I could write width slash two for the X value and height slash two for the y value. The slash symbol means division in JavaScript. Let's head over to the editor to explore some examples. 